I got my trench dug, got my wire run. Let's see if I can get it through this pipe and get this pipe in here. Still have a little bit of a cold, but it's clearing out. This stuff's easier to work with than I thought, which is good. I imagine that's going to be enough right there. Now the trick is getting it up in this box and getting this pipe in there at the same time. That's a trick right there. Maybe I'll come in from the opposite direction. Should have my gloves on. They're in my back pocket. Is that gonna work if I come in from the opposite direction? No, but I'm close there. I think I have to dig my trench a little deeper. I tested this pipe, but there's a bit of a curve from the wire. I think if I pull this wire back a bit. in. I got enough spare here to run up to my lugs. I do. Plenty. Put my lock nut on. The lock nut's catching things in this box and not allowing it to turn. It's like they didn't give it enough tolerance. That's crazy. I'll make it work. It's close. All right, get my screwdriver and my wrench tighten that up. I do have a bushing. Take it on top. And we're in the box. I can wire that up today. Sweet. I saw a couple YouTube videos on how to strip this stuff and apparently it's a bear to strip. So I'll try a couple methods that I saw. One is you don't strip it at all. You kind of score in next to this ground wire. Because you want to be careful on the woo, but not to cut yourself, of course, and not to cut the jacket on any of the conductors and that's why I gave myself plenty of wire out here to start out because I can mess this stuff up on the end and then cut it off because as you can see this is way too much wire I only need this much tough stuff. So I guess I have to score this. I probably should have scored it while it was on the table on a flat surface, but live and learn. I could put it up against this wall and do it. Score 
over this ground cable. Let's go for the big boys. There it goes. Yeah. I guess I have to score it all the way because it's not ripping on its own. So I will have to keep scoring it. I'll continue to do that and strip this out. I'm burning holes in my gloves, working in the dirt and the rocks. I love it. I found the trick for me is I changed the blade of my knife. You have to have a really sharp blade and you have to score it all the way down. I tried pulling this ground wire out without scoring it, it just wouldn't come. So once you score it down, it pulls out a little easier. So I've scored the neutral and this hot here and they should pull out fairly easy. Like I said, fairly easy. Maybe I didn't score it enough. Let me score it a little more. And I'm off my score, if you know what I mean. Let's try that. There you go. Alright. And then this one, it's easy once you score it. Now I gotta figure out how to score this red one in the middle here so they're hot. There's actually a little line you can see going down the wire, or the, you know, the jacket that you can score like, along. So that wasn't so hard either, except for here. Because I'm off the line when I scored. So you do want to be careful not to cut the sheathing on the conductor itself. Now I can cut this whole sheathing off and wire my first circuit ever on a 50 amp circuit. Yay. I've already run my ground up in here and cut it. I don't have wire strippers for six gauge wire, so I'm doing this with a, uh, a knife and cutting the sheathing and getting it off with pliers and it's kind of tricky. And now my neutral's going in. in. Now I gotta wire the breaker and that's gonna be tricky. I've never done that before. Here we go. All right I've already cut and stripped my wires because I didn't videotape it because it's starting to get dark and I want to get this done. Now I've seen people wire these breakers right on the panel but I want to do it off the panel so I can make sure my wires are in proper and I can see what's going on. Good. Get it good and tight. All right. So that's one hot of 110. And here's another hot of 110. And tight. Good and tight. snaps. I 
think it's got to snap tighter than that. Why does that not feel right? I guess it's in there. It feels like it should be tighter. I don't know if it's supposed to be loose like that. I'm gonna... Huh. I'm gonna test a 20 one, a 20 uh, circuit breaker on there and see what happens. All right. So that 50 amp circuit seemed like loose to me, like it wanted to go on more, but when I test it with this 20 amp here, uh, it's the same thing. It goes on, clips to the metal bus, and it just seems like it shouldn't be that loose. Maybe once the wire's in it, because this is pretty tight, I guess. It just seems loose. But it's parallel to the box, so I guess that's right. All right, my first circuit wired. Waiting for the electric company. So there's my first circuit ever. My ground comes up, goes to the ground bus ground bar here, my neutral going in here to the neutral, and two hots onto my 50 amp circuit. And it's time now to bury that wire. Yeah, I guess I can start filling this trench back, filling this trench. that puppy just curled up in a ball pretty interesting I don't know what these turn into but I'm gonna put you near a tree 